In the previous video, we have seen how to make use of safe navigation operator in order to avoid undefined and null values to be displayed on our web page. So in this video, let's discuss how we can hide some data which is empty. For example, we have this web page over here. This is the local host colon 4200 where our Angular project is hosted. So if you see over here, some of the events contain data which is not having any value. For example, online URL. So in this event, there is no value for online URL here. So what is the use of displaying that? It's not required, right? So we have to validate in such a case, we have a requirement where whatever the data which is not having value should not be displayed on our web page, the event data. So let's see how we can handle this. Let's switch to Visual Studio Code. So this is event-thumbnail-component.ts, which is our child component class. This is where we are displaying the event data, which has to be displayed on our web page. So on this event-thumbnail-component.ts file, we have to make some changes. We have to put a condition in such a way, if data exists and particular event data is having value, it should be displayed on our web page. If not having value, then it should be hidden. So let's do that now. So inside this div element, that is div tag, I'm going to introduce a new structural directive that is ngif. Okay, by making use of ngif, we can provide a condition over here, in which case the data has to be displayed. So we have to make use of asterisk ngif equals event with safe navigation operator dot location. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that we are making use of ngif structural directive to check whether the event is having location data or not. If it is having location data, then display the location data. If it is not having, then just hide this location data on our web page. Right, similarly, I also want to handle this for online URL. Okay, so I'm going to provide here similarly ngif equals event question mark dot online URL. Okay, let's save these changes. Now let's run this project by making use of npm space start. Okay, so our project is getting compiled. It got compiled successfully. Now let's open the browser where our project is hosted is localhost colon 4200. So let's go to localhost colon 4200. Okay. Now here you can observe that in the first event there is no online URL. There is no value for online URL. Hence this event is not displaying online URL here. That is how we are going to handle by making use of ngif structural directive. But in the other event, you can see that there is location as well as online URL, value for online URL. So everything is getting displayed over here. So how we are going to do is by making use of ngif structural directive, we are going to put a condition in such a way, the value, if this event data is having value, it should be displayed on our web page. If not having the value, then hide that. That's it, right? This is how we are going to handle this. Now suppose here online URL, we have already seen this. Now suppose I'm going to delete some content for location for Agile India conference event data. Let's see how it behaves. Okay, I'll switch to Visual Studio Code and inside events-list-component.ts, just to check our condition is working fine, I'm going to remove this location data for the second event, ID two, that is Agile India conference, okay? I'm going to remove this, save the changes, okay? Then refresh our browser, okay? Now you can see that for the second event, Agile India conference, there is no location data getting displayed over here. Why? Because we have removed the location data, right? We have removed the location data for this event. In the previous case, what was happening, even though there is no value for location, here on our web page, location colon was getting displayed over here with empty value, right? 
So to avoid that, we are making use of this NGF structural directive to handle whatever the values, whatever the event data is not having values. We are going to hide it by making use of NGF structural directive by pro uh, providing a condition out here. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and share this video. And kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos. Thank you.